I'm not going to waste any time because I just want to eat this. <laughs> and, you know, there's a festive sausage roll in front of me. Tell us how we do it and how it works, but I'm going to uh, eat. You're straight into it. I love it. Sorry. I love it. But look, sausage rolls are always a winner around this time of year, so we're going to crack on. While you're eating, I'm going to cook. So we're going to go in with some good quality sausage meat. Go to your butcher this time of year. Look, they're already loving them. Come on, this is going well already. We're going to go in with some good sausage meat. We're going to go in with some breadcrumbs. Now, the festive twist here, some cranberries and plenty of aromatics. Now, these mm. are dried cranberries. You could go in there with fresh cranberries, but there's more of a crunch factor, so go with the dried cranberries. Yeah. Um, aromatics, we've got sage, we've got rosemary, and we've got a little bit of parsley as well. That all goes in a nice, like a hunk. You want a hunk of herbs here, and you want to clank hunk. through them, okay? A hunk of herbs. Mm. Uh, salty bacon goes in. You could use pancetta if you have it. And then my secret ingredient here, some whole grain mustard, lovely flavour, oh. lovely bite. And you're going to mix that up just until you have a, a nice kind of sausage mixture and season it up. You don't need to go too heavy on the salt here because the sausage meat has salt and the bacon yeah, yeah. has yeah. salt as well. Right. So you don't have to worry. Now, the trick here is getting it into sausage roll shape. Now, the best thing to do is turn this out once you have it mixed up, lay it out onto some cling film and turn it out and literally make it into a roll. And what then does turn it out mean? Turn it out. Oh, like, just put the bowl oh, out. Oh, right, OK. Turn okay. it out. Oh. <laughs> Empty dump it. it. Dump it. Dump it, Vernon. Dump the bowl. You're going to wrap it with cling film, wrap Good. it over, and then you're going to create these little cylinders. So you literally take the ends and just twist them up, twist right. them up, twist they them look, up. They look, I mean, you're saying that. That looks like perfection. I, I don't know what it looks like now, but we'll, we'll move on <laughs> swiftly. Now, anyway, uh, we, once you've got them out of the fridge, and they, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's nearly Christmas, for goodness sake. Um, now, once they're out of the fridge, they've firmed up quite nicely. We're going to pop them onto some puff pastry. Now, this is just ready to shop bought puff pastry. The thing here is to keep it cool, otherwise, it shows goes to this gummy paste, it's awful. Mm. Okay. So we're going to um, add some more flavour in the form of some honey and some mustard. Need a little spoon over here. So we're just going to mix that up. And again, it's just about little flavour touches that go through. You probably yeah. taste that as you, uh, as you dive Obviously, through the layers like, here. Whisk that up so you've like got Christmas, sweetness and pepperiness, and it's absolutely mm. lovely. Um, you're going to take that now and you're going to brush that over your puff pastry, just all the way over, so it gets this nice kind of golden sheen. Mm. And there's sweetness there, there's pepperiness, there's loads of gorgeous things happening. So you want to spread that all the way over, leaving a little bit of seam just so that you can add some egg yolk or egg, uh, egg mixed up. Okay. And that's going to seal this up for you. You're going to take up that paste or that, that sausage meat roll uh, and you're going to pop that in and then literally... Oh, wow, that stayed put really stayed, well. Yeah, yeah, and if you put it in the fridge, I would say keep it in the fridge until it's nicely firmed up. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to take a little bit of that egg wash and just press it across the seam here. And then it's just a case okay, of rolling so it up. Okay, just at one, one, just at one edge. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Okay. And with puff pastry again, like you want to keep it as cool as possible. And when you're slicing it, nice firm slices so that you allow the pastry to rise when it goes into the right. oven. Right. So turn that over, and you can use the paper if you want to. But all you're going to do now is take up a sharp knife. And I am terrible at counting when it comes to um, laying out things like this. Yeah. So what I do is go straight down the center, right? And then yeah. center again, and then yeah, center perfect. again, uh, and then keep that's rolling the tip. until yes. you have nice little pieces. And then well, let's be honest, no one's ever good at fractions. Exactly, <laughs> especially when it comes to sausage rolls, OK? Yeah. I knew all that to I've pass the exams, it up. <laughs> and then I didn't retain any of that. Exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. look, these are really delicious around Christmas time. They're a perfect treat. You can have these made in advance. This is the beauty of this yes. recipe. Have yes. them ready to go. You can even pop them into the freezer, let them come to temperature, or just cook, put them in the fridge before. They're a perfect stopgap, aren't they? They are, yeah. absolutely. You know, like exactly Christmas breakfast that. into Christmas lunch. You can have a sausage roll. Totally. I'd like Christmas a little mulled lunch. wine with these. Mulled wine. A mulled wine Get you with you champagne. I'm going to leave this. It's Christmas. <laughs> I have a Bellini in the morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A bit of dream. You've got your yeah, feathers on. I've got my feathers on. <laughs> I bet you swan don't like John just, Collins, don't you? Dynasty. Yeah. Yeah. Rollers. Marvin, bring Marvin. me the mulled wine. Give me, yes. <laughs> Where's my canapes? And we'll we'll have our Christmas tree on wheels. You can have your mulled wine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm coming over to your both your houses yeah. for Christmas. That sounds hey, you're more than welcome, We've my friend. Oh, oh my goodness. Cook. Long Last little cook. touch, little bit of sesame seeds over the top. These are going to go into the oven. They're going to cook off for about 20 minutes at 200 perfect. degrees Celsius. And they are the perfect little Christmas treat. So they serve them amazing. up and you're happy They're out. They're absolutely oh, joy. They are <laughs> The cranberries tasty. make a massive difference. You oh, yeah. are very clever. So yeah. thank you. Yeah. Thank you very awesome. much. Well right. done. Yeah, thank you indeed. Right, all details of today's recipes and delicious ideas from all our chefs are able, you're able to download them for free on the This Morning app.